Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of TA with MK. My name is McKay. In today's episode, we're going to actually you know, keep in line with what we've been doing lately as far as price predictions or projections or predictions or whatever the heck the word is. I can't speak. But what we're going to do a little different in today's video is we're going to do an update on three coins because as I've been making these videos, I've been kind of tracking, you know, the views that I get. And one of the biggest things I learned personally in crypto over the last bull run, uh, my mentor at the time, uh, I won't mention his name and uh, his channel has kind of disappeared. So I don't really know what's going on there. But regardless of that whole situation, good or bad guy, I don't really know. But he did teach me a few things that I've, you know, that I've kept with me to this day. And one of them which was a phrase that he used to say that where the attention goes, the money flows. That being said, one of the things that making these videos has taught me and humbled me in a way is that I'm seeing, you know, some of the coins that I didn't, you know, wasn't very bullish on, so to speak, as far as my, you know, predictions for this bull run, my personal predictions, that is. Uh, seeing them getting the most views is telling me that there's a lot of attention still on these coins. Uh, I never, you know, would have made videos about them if I didn't believe they had some potential, but they might have a little more potential potential than what I initially gave them credit for. So we're going to hop over to my YouTube channel here in a second and find the videos that I'm referring to, uh, the coins that is that have the most views. Um, and we're going to actually make a follow-up video with an update based on you know, some new ideas for those coins as far as potential position rankings and also an alternative idea to my formula that if Bitcoin dominance is actually closer to where it ended last bull run versus being you know where I've been projecting it to be, these coins would have a little bit more upside than when I'm projecting. And if that sounds even remotely interesting to you, do me a huge favor and remember to hit the like and subscribe button as it helps the channel to grow. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into these three coins. Okie dokie. So we're actually over here on my YouTube channel just so I can kind of show you what I'm looking at here. Uh, by the way, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. You can see here we're at 927, so not bad. Uh, I do appreciate every one of you that have subscribed at this point. It really has been um, awesome to see the growth we've had over the couple of months, which has coincided with me coming back and making videos, which makes sense. But if we scroll down here through my recent videos, which have all been for the most part these price projection videos, a few are going to stand out. Uh, for example, most recently Algorand comes in pretty close to be one of the the top ones has 698 views that'll probably get more it's only eight days ago i made that video so i'll probably be doing a follow-up on it at some point as well in the near future however it's not one of the ones that i had noticed to be one of my top three We've got Cardano here at 937 views from two weeks ago. This is gonna be one of the coins we're gonna do an update on as it has a more potential, I believe, now than at the time of when I made that video, even though that was only a couple weeks ago. Uh, we're not gonna do fetch.ai because we're gonna wait for that merger, which is supposed to happen here in a couple of weeks. You can see that one had over a thousand views, but they're gonna actually be merging the three different companies together. I believe the three coins that fetch, well, it's one of the three coins, the two coins besides itself that it's merging with is Ocean Protocol, and I believe Singularity, which is Ajax or Ajax or how do you say it, A-G-I-X. Uh, the rebranding to, I believe, Artificial Super Something Intelligence, ASI. So we'll, of course, do a follow-up on that as well. I already planned to, even if it didn't get all these views, just because that's going to be kind of a big deal and a, and a new coin that'll be inside the top 100. Um, now we go down here, we can see some of these videos I thought would do better, like Near Protocol, Aptos. Those are kind of the same uh, you know, category in crypto. Didn't do all that good, either did CKB. And it doesn't mean these are bad coins. Uh, it just means that they don't have as much attention on them, at least from my viewers or, the, or at least the viewers that YouTube is pushing my videos out to. But if we scroll down just a little bit further, you're going to see two pop up on the same line here of videos. You're going to see Veracity, which is VRA. This is actually a coin that I hold. And when I made the price projection video for it, of course, it was somewhat bullish, but I wouldn't say it was that bullish. I'm not necessarily trying to shill the coins that I own just to pump my bags or any of that kind of thing. And so I really just gave my honest prediction for it. It wasn't that bullish. But after seeing the views that I got, uh, it made me realize that Quinn may also have more potential. So that's going to be number two in today's video to go with Cardano or ADA. And then on that same line, the one that surprised me more than anything was Jasmine. Now, of course, my thumbnails are always like the most bullish target that I talk about in the videos. I said Jasmine to 10 cents, but that wasn't my personal prediction for that coin. And when we dive into these, I'm going to quickly give my personal predictions that I gave for each of those coins in case you haven't seen those individual videos. But then we're going to talk about my updated predictions for those coins. So the three coins we're going to talk about, again, are going to be Cardano, 
which is ADA, Veracity, which is VRA, and Jasmine, which is just me. And then of course comes that all important question, did I get them wrong as far as my price projections? Well, that's the point of the video is we're gonna deceive if maybe I might've underestimated these three coins a little bit. But first let's talk about what projections I did give. Now, if you haven't been watching these price projection videos, whenever I give my price prediction, it's based on 115K Bitcoin. Won't explain necessarily where I came up with that. That's just kind of my, I guess, safe guess for where Bitcoin ends up this bull run. And the whole point of these projections is to keep them on the kind of realistic slash safer side you know, no hopium and all that crap. So anyhow, let's talk about those projections I gave. So for, Card for Cardano or ADA, I had it ending around position number 12 with a price of $1.12. Uh, veracity, I had ending somewhere around the 200-ish range, so I didn't have it cracking the top 100 or anything, but around 200, I believe a six cents price target based on, again, 115K Bitcoin. And then Jasmine, uh, last but not least, of course, and the one that has the most views out of my price projection videos, obviously has a strong community. I had it ending up around position 75 with a price of about six and a half cents. Now, super duper quick before I give my actual updated projected prices for these three coins, I want to give kind of some context to why I'm changing these other than just possible position rankings. Now, in all of my projections in these other videos, I'm using Bitcoin dominance as 47.5% and Ethereum dominance as 17.5%. Now, I want to quickly just talk about Bitcoin dominance. Now, this is the actual chart. I'm not going to do any TA or, you know, do much more than just give you some brief explanation to this, but just for some context. Now, this chart, just so you know, if you haven't looked at it before, what it does is it just represents the amount of money that's in Bitcoin versus the rest of the altcoins or the rest of the crypto market, I mean. So right now, for example, there's 54.5% of all the money that's in crypto is in just Bitcoin. Uh, but at the end of the last couple of bull runs, so this back here would represent the top I should have put a vertical line here. Actually, let's do that. Alt V. Um, that was to represent the top of the 2018 bull run. And actually, the, the dominance was right around 48%. And then if we come over here to like November the 8th, 2021, it was actually the 10th, but still very close. This is the weekly chart. So, of course, it's not showing the exact date of the 10th. But you have a dominance sitting right around like 43%. So the dominance from one bull run to the next actually went down a little bit. And I would believe that's just because there was more altcoins and you know people like to trade or buy altcoins more than they do Bitcoin. Of course, the big money always goes into Bitcoin. Um, now there's an ETF this bull run, so there's reasons to believe that even more big money will probably focus on Bitcoin. That being said, it's also fair to suggest that maybe the Bitcoin dominance at its peak or when Bitcoin peaks, or at least the total market that goes in, you know, the money that's in crypto, the altcoin, sorry, whenever they peak, it could actually be a lower dominance than even what, uh, even what last bull run had. And again, if you look back over here at my chart, I was projecting an average of around 47.5%. So let's just say it was closer to like 40%, maybe even a little bit lower than this last bull run, or if it's even just around the 43, because Bitcoin demands so much of the money that's in crypto, just something like three, four or 5% more going into the altcoins will make a big difference. How big of a difference you might ask? Well, let me tell you. So I'm only gonna give two projections here, 115K and 150K, 115K because that's the number I been using for my other price projection videos and that'll be the update for these three coins or what it'll be based on anyways but I also want to give you 150k projection for these three coins as well so if we look below 115k I currently have a projected total market cap for all of crypto of 4.823 trillion well if Bitcoin dominance was to only be 40 percent so kind of in line with dropping a little bit more from the last bull run to this one like it did from the previous one to the you know so forth meaning that more attention just keeps going to the altcoins, even though Bitcoin's still the big papa of all of crypto. Well, actually, that would put the total or the amount of money for 115K Bitcoin at 5.73 trillion, so almost a whole nother trillion dollars in crypto at 115K Bitcoin based on my formula. And at 150K, we had 6.293 trillion, and that would actually bump all the way up to 7.47 trillion, so actually a little over a trillion more dollars into uh, all of crypto at that price. Now, I'm sure a big chunk of you just skipped forward to this part because maybe all you cared about was the updated predicted prices, and that's fine. So, but let me first explain what the updated new rankings I have for each of these coins are, just in case that interests you as well. So, Cardano, 
Dono at the time of making this video, I believe was in position number 11. I had it previously ending, if you remember, at position 12. I think I might've underestimated it. I don't see it jumping above Doge, but XRP currently sits at position number eight. I think it could end up somewhere around there. We'll just use the average between position seven and nine on my formula for Cardano. And what about Veracity or VRA? Well, I previously had it at somewhere around 200. I don't see it cracking the top 100 personally, although because I carry quite a bit of VRA, that would be amazing. But I could see it ending up somewhere between 120 and 150. And we'll just use the average between like 131 and 140 on my formula to give you an updated price on Veracity. And then last but not least, the one that I may have underestimated the very most, which is Jasmine. The time of making this video, it's already exceeded my prediction, at least as far as position number 75. I think it's somewhere in the top 60. I don't want to say it's going to end up necessarily as a top 25 coin or anything like that. If I'm wrong, great for those of you that hold it. But let's just have let's just predict that it ends up somewhere or project, sorry, that it ends up somewhere between position 41 and 50. And we'll give you an updated price for that based on my formula. All righty. Thanks for sticking with me to this point. Your patience will be rewarded. We're now looking at those new price projections. We're starting with Cardano here on TradingView or ADA. And if you look at the current price at the time of making this video, it's around 45 cents. Now at 100 115k Bitcoin, if we zoom in, that would be position number seven through nine. I said my new prediction's actually right around number eight, overtaking XRP. We have a new price of $2.43, which would be about a 5X from where we're at now. And then of course, the position seven through nine at 150 bit, uh, thousand dollar Bitcoin would be $3.17, would just barely be a new high from the last bull run, and that'd be about a 7X. Next up, of course, we've got Veracity or VRA. If you look above my head, the price at the time of making the video was just over, uh, just under half of one cent at 0 0.004987. Now this is gonna seem a little crazy, but if we zoom in, I actually have price new price projections for VRA uh, of ending between 131 and 140. $115,000 Bitcoin would put it at 15 cents, which believe it or not would be 30X from where the price is now. Position number 131 through 40 at $150,000 Bitcoin would be 22 cents, which would be almost a 45, 45X from where we are now. Now I realize those seem a little bit too bullish maybe to a lot of people. Now, granted, if any time a coin's gonna go from something like ranks number 700 or wherever Veracity is now, all the way up to almost a top 100 coin. This is the kind of gains you're gonna see even at this stage in the bull run. So what if we just take those off the chart and just go with the same position ranking that I had in my previous video, but just adding in or accounting for the new Bitcoin dominance, meaning a little bit more money will be flowing into the altcoins. Well, now that it would update to $115,000 Bitcoin, giving us around a seven and a half cents VRA, which would be about a 15X from where we are now, not quite a new high. At $150,000 Bitcoin at position number 200 or roughly around there would actually be almost 10 cents, which would be a new high from the last bull run and would come in at about a 20X. And then finally, to end the video, we have our prediction, our new prediction anyway, for Jasmine, which I'm quickly becoming more bullish on than I previously was. And accounting for the new Bitcoin dominance, as well as the new position rank of between 41 and 50 at $115,000 Bitcoin, we have 17 cents for Jasmine, which is about a 4X from where we are now. And then at $150,000 Bitcoin, 22 cents, which would be about a 5X from where we are now. And then just real quick to finish up for you TA nerds out there, which is what I am. After all, this is TA with MK. It's a technical analysis channel at heart. If we take this top of where it peaked at the end of the last bull run and pull the FIB retracement tool down to the bottom of the bear market, you'll see some FIB confluence with these targets. The 0 0.5, of course, is right around where my 17 cents target is. And then the golden pocket, which is the 0 0.65 to the 0 0.618, is very, very close to my 22 cents target. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope at least some of you got some value out of that. I know it was on the longer side. As always, do me a favor if you're enjoying the content, remember to hit that like and subscribe button on the way out. Also, if you're enjoying these price prediction videos, there should be another one popping on your screen as well as my playlist. And as always on your way out, remember to invest in yourself.